Most of you watching own the EPDM roof. This is EPDM. It's an inner tube of a car tire. You see how it stretches? That's EPDM, okay? It's a synthetic rubber. Very, very thin. So, they leak at the seams. No matter where, what you say, I find them everywhere. I mean, steep. And they still have leaks. They want to tell me there's not that many seams on the EPDM. It doesn't matter. You only have one seam and it leaks. If you don't have that many, it should not leak. So here's seams. They patched it, patched it. They keep on patching here. You can see new patches. If you look at this roof, it's been coated with silicon. Everywhere you can see silicon coating. But just a silicon coating will not solve the leak. You can see somebody taped over this. They put tape over. You see the tape? Silicon will crack. Look here. The silicon coating is cracking right at the seam. So you cannot just put silicon coat coating over a roof and think it's going to solve the problem. I want to show you how good silicon is anyway. I coated this last night with the black silicon and with white silicon. The black is hard to see. You can ha barely see. The other side? Yeah. Barely see the, the, the black difference, you see? But look, it stretches with it. But let me show you the white. See the white there? Look, look at the, the, the different layers. This is the black EPDM and this is the silicon. Now look how amazing this is. You see that? It sticks to it so well. But at the seams, you cannot just do this. This is what I'm gonna show you now, how to repair an EPDM roof with that has silicon coating or you, you still want to do silicon coating. But look how amazing this product is. It stretches, look, uh, with the EPDM. Unbelievable. All right. You need a lacquer thinners to clean the seams like this, okay? That's how you do it first. You cannot just go over, clean it very, very well. Because look at, look at this. Look at that, it's dirty. So you clean it like first, after you've cleaned the seam, you roll your first coat nice and thick. You take your fleece. I hold it? Yeah. Go a little more with it. Huh? Okay. Yeah. And you put your fleece over it and you roll your fleece out just like that. And that's it. You repair a seam on an EPDM roof with a I think that's it. I think that's it. Sorry, can you tell the people how you get into roofing? <laughs> I was in bathroom remodeling before, and what happened was I was asking God to bless the business. I was doing bathroom remodeling, and I was a toilet doctor. Ah. And a toilet doctor, I had like four vans running and I had bathroom remodeling. And every night my money was, there was no, not enough money. And I asked God every night, every morning, please God bless, please God bless. And the problem is, after five years, God was not blessing. That was my next question. How long you was doing that? <laughs> yes. Okay. And after five years, I believe I, this, I realize God is not blessing it. Ah. Because, no. Because how can God bless? I need a permit to be a plumber. 
Ah. Or electrician. I you need to be licensed. Licensed. Uh -huh. And I'm not licensed. Ah. So how can God bless something that... If you don't do the things right. If That's I don't do it right. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. So, I was three weeks without the work, without a penny. I had like 75 cents on me. Wow. And I was helping a friend to remodel a house uh -huh. with no money. When another friend from the church came to me and says, Hey, Nas, do you do roofing? Uh-huh. And I said, I, not really, but I, I, I will do it. He says, come with me. I said, I don't even have a car. I drive with his truck. Uh -huh. And we go to a very well-known man in this country, a very rich man. He's now passed away. William Buckley Jr. And we go and look at this roof. I use my friend of the church. He's a painter. That's why he was at that house. He was painting the house. I use his ladders, his van, and I jump on the roof and I pretend to measure the roof. Uh -huh. I pace it off and I pace it off. No idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> There's a shingle roof uh -huh. and there was a flat roof. Uh -huh. So I came down from the roof and they all were waiting for me there. <laughs> The painter, Mr. Buckley, and his caretaker, uh -huh. the one who took care of the grounds. And they asked me, how much? And I said, $17,000. <laughs> no idea what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> and Mr. Buckley said, when can you start? Wow. <laughs> wow. I had no money. I had 75 cents. I had a family of four at the time, five, four kids. Unbelievable. You better... Ooh. And so I asked Mr. Buckley for a deposit. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote me a check for $5,000. Uh -huh. And... Uh, and then how, how you fix it if you don't know? How did I do it? Uh -huh. How you did it? Uh -huh. Only God, because... On the way back to where I was, where I was picked up by my friend, get closer. Uh -huh. On my way back, I saw a roofer shingling, and he was finishing his last, I mean, ten shingles. I jump and I out of the car. I say, "Hey, do you do roofing?" He says, "Yeah." I said, "Can you come and do a roof for me?" He says. If you're ready. I said, I'm ready. He says, Monday morning I'll be there if you have the material. I said, I'll have the material. Come with me and tell me what I need. Uh -huh. We jump back in the van, go back to William Buckley's house, and he measures the roof. <laughs> the one I was supposed to measure. <laughs> and he tells me to go and get the material. I take the check, deposit, I get some money, and I go to the roofing supply place and I ordered the material to be delivered Monday morning 7 o'clock uh -huh. I have no idea what I'm doing uh -huh. the material came to $2,500 okay and the subcontractor the roofer guy yeah he said he'll do it for $2,500 oh nice and so the job got done by Tuesday they were done wow I had $12,000 in my pocket yeah Good. That's how I got into roofing, nah. by God. When I said, okay, God, I give up plumbing, I give up bathrooms, can you show me what to do? And then, three weeks later, God put it in my lap, roofing. Wow. That's how I got into roofing. Not because I was smart or I knew anything, because I gave up what was wrong, uh -huh. And God gave me something I didn't need a license or permit or right. nothing for. And from then on, I was a roofer. That was 19, late 80s, 1980s. Wow. And you have four kids? In the, in the At that time. time, I had four kids. Wow. And no money. No money to pay the rent. Wow. No money for food. Ay, ay, ay. And eventually, God heard my prayers. Yeah. Stop plumbing. Yeah. Stopped doing illegal, uh -huh. and I became a, a roofing contractor. 
Oh, nice. All right, that's how I did roofing.